taking control, understanding, you hold the reins. Hello, everyone. Welcome to our English language learning channel. Today, we're diving into a fascinating phrase, you hold the reins. This expression is rich in meaning and history, and understanding it can add depth to your English communication. So, let's explore what it means to hold the reins in both a literal and figurative sense. Reins are straps or ropes attached to the headgear of a horse, used by a rider to guide or control the animal. When you're holding the reins, you literally have the control over the direction and speed of the horse. This control is crucial for safe and effective riding, making the reins a powerful tool in the hands of the rider. In a figurative sense, you hold the reins, means you're in control of a situation or in charge of your own life. It implies that you have the power and responsibility to guide the outcome of whatever you're involved in. This expression is often used to empower people, reminding them that they have more control over their circumstances than they might realize. Let's see how this phrase is used in everyday English. 1. Personal empowerment. Don't forget, you hold the reins of your future. It's up to you to decide where you go from here. 2. In the workplace, as the project leader, you hold the reins. Make sure the team stays on track and meets the deadline. 3. In decision making, we've provided all the information you need. Now, you hold the reins. Let us know your decision. Understanding the phrase, you hold the reins, enriches your English vocabulary and offers a powerful way to communicate about control, responsibility, and empowerment. Whether you're guiding a horse or steering your life in the direction you choose, remember the significance of holding the reins. We hope this video helps you grasp and use this expression confidently. Thanks for watching, and we look forward to bringing you more insights into the English language. Happy learning!